Hey, we're on set of Swerve Magazine. Uh, we're doing a special issue, Black Designers Matter. Thank you, Jamil, for allowing me the opportunity to pull this whole thing together as guest fashion editor for Swerve Magazine. I contacted 10 of my friends and I got them all to say yes immediately. We're working with legendary model Rosalind Johnson and Tracy Africa Norman. We all have our own unique style, so you really can't box us in because we're so diverse. We were, you know, confined and quarantined for so long, so now we finally get this jolt of energy, you know, that could show the world what we've been doing. Hi, my name's Nazara. I'm on a shoot today of Swerve Magazine and also to bring awareness that Black Designers Matter. I think it was a great experience and a great and big opportunity for myself. Uh, Douglas says, who's my uncle, he uh, gave me a call and he seen it with the opportunity for me to do the makeup. Everyone was kind on set, everything was smooth sailing. I had a great time and I appreciate the opportunity. I really want to say thank you for helping out the new young black designers. They need it. They need it. And we have to help them. We have a nice group of young black fashion designers that are so creative and they need to have their work shown. And it seems like for a magazine, you guys are showing them. In these times with COVID as a backdrop, the economy has been impacted. So it's very crucial that we support uh, black designers in these days because of uh, uh, economic conditions, social conditions, um, and COVID. This is so important for us to unite because black designers do matter. And we need to continue to say that. We need to keep pushing that narrative to everyone that we matter, that we are an intricate part of this fashion world, the fashion scene. Thank you, Swerve Magazine, for having us. Thank you, Dr. Sim, for putting us all together. Thank you for showcasing black art, black fashion, black soul. You want some successful tips? Just look at Swerve Magazine and you'll get what you want and you'll be on your way to success. Uh, we look forward to you supporting in the community and uh, just helping us push this magazine. It's going to be a really great magazine. It's going to be a really nice tool for designers to showcase their clothes as well as models to get their tear sheets and be seen in the business. I'm a model of the 80s. And during this pandemic, I didn't think it would be possible to come out and do something that was meaningful as representing our black designers. So I am so fortunate that I was able to come and make a contribution during these very trying times. However, fashion must continue to exist. We must continue to support our artists and make things happen for them. And we will get back to normal. It's just a matter of time and patience. Hi everyone. My name is Prince Coker. Today, it was a great pleasure to work with Douglas Sets. Um, the project was really awesome, getting a chance to work with other black designers and being able to be part of this project and working with a wonderful team today. Thank you Swerve Magazine once again for bringing me out and thank you to the team for inviting me to be part of this wonderful project as a model and collaborating with the wonderful people today. The problem is a lot of the mainstream designers take from neighborhoods like your North New Jersey's, like your Harlem's, like your Oakland's, and they put it up on the regular runways and call it fashion. But what we need to do is incubate ourselves within our own community. So therefore we can show that we are the jewelry box of the nation in, in its entirety. We're where the inspiration comes from. You know, do-rags weren't being seen on the runway until Kendall Jenner did it, but we've been doing it for years. So um, I thought it would be important for me to be here and show that black designers we do have what it takes to compete with your mainstream white designers
So yeah, it was just awesome to work with Shabi, who was just on uh, Project Runway, Clarence Black, Douglas Says, Marco Hall, Kevin Dickens, Larry Underwood, Emmanuel Denson, and a couple of others, but I'm going off the top of my head. Hi, my name is Tracy Africa Norman, and it is a privilege for me to work with Swerve Magazine once again, and an honor to work with such designers as Douglas Says and Marco Hall, because black designers matter. And in my experience, I've only worked with white designers, like when I was living in Paris and in New York. So today, I've been working with several different black designers, which is an honor for me that they chose me to wear their clothes. I greatly appreciate it. I was invited by my friend Douglas Seth, so I'm very familiar of the magazine and what it does for the African-American LGBTQ community. Um, I mean, it's a voice. It's a voice of ours, and it feels like it's a magazine for us. So this Black Designers um, Matter um, issue, shoot, or what have you, it's just really showing what, you know, Swerve has always believed in us and just showing the world, you know, what we've been doing.